Ow, I just hit my elbow. <laughs> Um, that's a great way to start a video, huh? Um, hi guys, it's Kyle, and I just wanted to do, I guess, sort of an update video, um, update about my whole life, not just TTC. Um, TTC-wise, I am on cycle day 12. I haven't started taking my OPKs yet, which is um, very bad of me. I should have started taking them like two days ago, but I will start taking them tonight. However, I kind of just realized this. I don't know if it was within the last week or so or last two weeks. You're not supposed to be using first morning urine with those. You're supposed to use it like once in the afternoon and once at night. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I guess I'm going to do that from now on starting tonight. And I haven't really had any symptoms yet. I did have EWCM yesterday and we BD'd yesterday, but as far as like, as far as like me being able to tell I ovulated, like I think I already might have. And that's weird because I usually ovulate, well I usually get the positive OPKs on cycle day 14 and then I think I ovulate day 15. but. Just based on like what my body's been doing, it's like Monday, which was cycle day 10. Yeah. Um, I was really, really nauseous. Like I would put food in my mouth and chew it thinking I was hungry and I was going to eat it. And then like I'd want to spit it out. Like I couldn't even swallow it. It was gross. Um, and I felt really tired all day that day. I felt kind of sick. And... Now I'm kind of starting to think, like, I wonder if I ovulate early and the OPKs don't show a surge until later. I mean, I don't even know if that's possible. That's all going up in my head right now. I'm just making that up. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But if I, if I didn't have OPKs and I had to go based on exactly what my body was telling me, I honestly would have thought that I ovulated so whatever. I'm going to start taking the OPKs tonight. Hopefully I get a positive tomorrow, Friday. Um, other than that, I wanted to let you guys know that this TTC community means the world to me and you guys are a huge support system for me. And a lot of you guys have linked, you know, your YouTube to your Facebook and you've made like a TTC Facebook or a pregnancy Facebook, which is awesome for you guys. But for me and anyone else going through this, I don't know if this video will help you um, just so you have someone to relate to, but I've completely deactivated Facebook and I've never felt better about it. Um, I think I had over like 700 friends and I'm not like bragging when I say that. Um, it's just that I know a lot of people, I come from not like a small town per se, but I live um, in a group of towns and there's like towns all over the place and we all know each other and um, I grew up like once you friend someone in life, it's like you friend them on Facebook. Like I was friends with people that I went to college with, I was friends with people that I went to kindergartner with, kindergarten with and... Um, I think that's just how I accumulated that many friends. So now that I'm at the age where I'm 30 or going to be 30 soon, it's like everybody, every single one of the like core group of my friends already have their babies or is pregnant right now. Um, so I'm definitely like the last one. But besides that, like on Facebook, now there's like younger girls getting pregnant and I just couldn't, it wasn't just that. But I didn't want that in my face anymore. Like, every time I sign on, someone else is pregnant. And it was so hard to, like, be happy for other people when it's like, wow, it's like you sneeze and you get pregnant. You know, like, it just seemed like it was happening so easily for everybody else. And that's not me. I'm not a bitter person. I don't like to think negatively of anybody else. And um, just to get off of Facebook in general has been, like, a blessing in disguise for me. Um... I do miss certain things, like I miss seeing pictures of my cousin and her babies and my nephew, my nephews, um, my family members, and like my college friends that I don't get to see very often. Like I miss that stuff, but um, 
other than that, it really has been good for me. And my advice to you guys that are out there, if you're feeling the same way I feel, which is just kind of stuck in life, um, my advice is to start focusing on something else and not necessarily give up TTC. Um, I'm definitely not doing that, but I'm starting to switch gears of like where I am in my life and what I want to focus on. Um, and if a baby is in that plan, then, you know, I'll of course be extremely happy. Um, I don't, for this moment, I might feel differently like in a year from now, um, but for this moment right now, being as I'm turning 30 soon, it's kind of just like an eye opener, like I have so much life to live. Um, I have my sister-in-law's wedding coming up. I have my sister's wedding coming up, which I'll just get completely emotional if I talk about because I'm just so happy. Um, I have their bridal showers and their bachelorette parties, and I have a friend's wedding coming up. Um, birthday parties. My nephew is turning four, which I can't believe. Um, and my birthday. So I just, there's so many good things coming up that I kind of lost focus of, and it was so much on TTC, like, you know, counting down, like, okay, I have three days to my period, I wonder if I'm going to get it, like, should I go out and buy tampons, or should I go out and buy pregnancy tests, like, I'm just so over that, and I'm glad that I'm over it, I'm glad that for the, you know, year and how many months I've been trying that I did have that phase, because I kind of learned that's not the way I want to be, but I needed to do it to find that out, so... I don't know if this video is just me rambling or if it's going to help anybody out there, but um, whether or not I would get a positive this month, next month, or whenever, I just want to be happy again and I just want to focus my life on the good things and not of what I don't have. And I don't know. I feel good about it. I feel really good about it and I feel good about where I am and Chris and I are seeing the infertility um, doctor, the specialist, and I, I, I'm excited to hear what they have to say. I want to see if, you know, what their plan is for us or what they think it should be. Um, like, not by any means am I giving up on TTC. I just want to let you guys know that, but I am switching my focus. So, I hope you guys understand. I'm still going to make videos for you guys. Um, I don't know how detailed they'll be because I'm trying not to focus on symptoms and, um, you know, what cycle day I'm on, just kind of letting it go. But overall, um, I'm in a better place now and I'm happier. And I think it's just important to, like, remember that. Remember that you are already blessed with so many of life's blessings, like, Chris and I started exercising together, and it's been so fun. Like, we go for walks after work, which is just, as much as, like, I hate working out, um, I mean, a walk is a walk. It's not like I'm doing hardcore cardio or anything, but it's, like, getting me back into, like, realizing, like, there's other things going on than just TTC. So, I hope you guys understand, and thank you guys for your support continuous support. You guys are amazing. And I look forward to watching all of your videos and I'll still keep you guys updated with what's going on with me, but that's it for now. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and I'll see you guys soon.